Hey everybody, it's Chris. I'm back. I'm doing another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Since it is Cinco de Mayo, that I do a Mexican beer today, and the beer I'm doing is from Cerveceria Mexicana. It is the Queen of the Queen of the Night Pale Ale. And when I went to uh, when I went to go find out what uh, what glassware should be used with a Mexican Pale Ale, I didn't have much luck. So uh, since an American Pale Ale, you can use a pint glass for. I'm going to be using my UNLV Running Rebel pint glass today. And, of course, I'm going to be using the new Pop the Top bottle opener. See if we can get a better view of that so it doesn't get glare. Pop the Top bottle opener from Taza Designs. Let me show you how easy this works. And soon I'm going to be putting up a, uh, for those who follow regularly, you will be getting a discount code uh, for the Pop the Top opener. So that's something you can... Come back for all right. So, I pop this on. Nice and easy that came off. Tray foamy. All right. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'm going to show you. I just want to show you that the cap comes off completely unscathed. So that's the main thing I want to show you with this particular uh, bottle opener. They asked me to endorse it, and uh, so far I've been very happy with the results. Uh, the other night on Periscope, I had my 71-year-old uh, mother who suffered a stroke back in September attempt it. And while it did take her a couple of times, it, admittedly it didn't happen the first time, um, it did eventually happen. She did manage to get it off, so it can be done. Now, this is an 11.2-ounce bottle. Um, some really neat artwork on there. I hope that the glare isn't messing that up because that is some pretty cool artwork. And uh, uh, my friends who know better or better travel than I could probably tell me that there's a uh, that, that must equate to a very nice flat size in the metric system because I've seen many other foreign beers at 11.2 uh, ounces. This has an ABV of 4.8, and there's really not much else about this beer uh, on here other than it is a product of Mexico, and it's not Dos Equis, and it's not uh, Corona, and so and. Uh, also, I paid a uh, dollar fifty-nine for this at um, uh, where was I? Um, Total Wine. Total Wine. I paid a dollar fifty-nine for this. So, see, you can buy decent beers that are not corporate entities, and you don't have to break the bank in order to do it. So, let's give this a good pour. That is kind of a dark pale ale, but it's almost like a red ale. This up in the see a better view. The pour. You can see this has a nice foamy head. Honestly, to me, that almost looks like a red ale. Even the head looks like a head of a red ale. But uh, I've never had a Mexican pale ale before, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. Uh, um, getting kind of a an apple and citrus, very fruity smelling. Um, now a little bit of that biscuit, like you would expect from a pale ale, from say an American pale ale, anyway. Uh, yeah, biscuity, uh, toasted malt uh, sort of smell. Uh, the head, as you can see, while it was firm, is uh, it's still hanging on. Uh, I'd say that there's all oh, about high medium carbonation on this. Uh, lots of bubbles going through. So let's give it a shot. <clears throat> this tastes very much like an American pale ale. Uh, it really does. Now it smells smells a little fruitier than I'm used to for pale ales, but uh, this really does taste like an American pale ale. Um, has about a medium mouthfeel, just the slightest bit of spikiness, uh, but uh, biscuit and fruit is what I'm getting more than anything. So it's while it, uh, it may smell a little more fruity than its American counterparts, uh, at least this um, Mexican pale ale, while it may not have the same color as you might expect from an American pale ale, this is, it definitely tastes like one. Uh, <clears throat> and that's a pretty good beer. Um, when I tried to, uh, I actually, on, on a Facebook group I belong to, I, I put up that I was trying to find a, uh, 
a decent beer to do for uh, a decent Mexican beer to do for Cinco de Mayo. Um, did anybody have any suggestions other than corporate swill like Corona, uh, Negro Modelo, things like that? And uh, this group of extraordinary beer drinkers, honestly, I, I got a lot of, gee, I don't know what to tell you. There's not a whole lot out there. Uh, good luck. I mean, some people said try Victoria. Victoria, I haven't been able to find in Las Vegas. But I did find this, like I said, for $1.59 at a Total Wine. And it's Queen of the Dead Pale Ale from Cerveceria Mexicana. And uh, you can you can lambast me for my uh, pronunciation later. Uh, remember, I'm an Irish Irish German guy who grew up in the Midwest. So um, <clears throat> my uh, my Spanish pronunciation is probably piss poor. But uh, anyway, so I thought, no, I'm going to I'm gonna venture over to Total Wine. I'm not going to let uh, the fact that there's not a whole lot of options available out there um, stop me. And I didn't. And so I'm glad I didn't. And uh, this is a pretty good beer. There were other beers from this brewery there, and I think I'm going to be trying some of their others, especially if they come in at a, at a buck fifty nine like this one did. So until then, happy Cinco de Mayo. Uh, and uh, cheers.